We're back with the best stuff of the week in foul territory. How can you not be romantic about baseball, Brock Star, when you have Drew Maggi sitting in the minor leagues for 13 years, makes it up to the show. He stole the show with us. Stole the show, man. I, I'm so excited I got to be a part of the show when he was on. Uh, former roommates back in the minor league days. He grinded it out a little bit longer than I did, but couldn't be more happy for him. And what a cool, what a cool experience to get to talk to him. Speaking of grinding, AJ is definitely telling everybody about the White Sox. <laughs> they are struggling right now, Kratzy. Lance Lynn is telling everyone about the White Sox. You want unfiltered foul territory conversations? Here's Lance leading us off. As a White Sox fan, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> please, please tell me why. Please, please explain. What the fuck? I'm please, gonna, to be, just to start be, somewhere. Give me Pope, please. To be, to be honest with you, we are in the midst of everybody learning a whole new way of going about things in this organization. And we got guys that are literally trying all new things and learning on the fly things um, all the way around. And then we've got guys who aren't playing up to their caliber also, uh, me being number one. I haven't thrown the ball well. I've thrown the ball like shit, to be honest with you. I've had a couple of decent outings, but for the most part, I haven't been myself so far. For me, I'm taking the deal. Yes, I don't. I don't. For personally, I don't want to leave guaranteed money out there. You know, um, it's a hundred million dollars. You know, um, I'm sure he'll be just fine. He'll survive. Now he has no worries for his entire life. And in baseball, you never know. You know, bad seasons can happen. Um, things can change. You can get hurt. Things can happen. So uh, let's uh, be smart here. Take the money. And now, I'm good for the rest of my life. I mean. They're not even a month into the season, and they're. I mean, I think you got to give this kid more chance. I there's got to be more to the story, um, in my opinion, because I went over 31 one time, so that would be a zero for zero my second year, and I didn't get sent down. You know, you got to give this kid a chance. This is where the numbers come in, AJ. Like, you know how guys would come back and be like, "Oh, late life." His perceived velocity is a negative 12.2, which means nothing to you but it is the highest perceived velocity pitch currently in the big leagues this year. After adding that sweeping slider, how much has that helped your different fastballs? Right now, it's not helping shit. Can't get anybody <laughs> out. So, uh, wait, you th wait, hold on, you throw a sweeper? Yeah, it's not sweeping. You it's, are such it, a, you have changed so much. I threw a sweeper last night and it cost me three runs, so that pitch can fuck right off right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I wanted to quit pretty much every year, honestly. Every off season, it was, I mean, it was tough just going through the process of being a free agent, not getting any calls. I mean, my agent, my agent told me to retire eight years ago. He was like, you got anything, you got anything else you can do? <laughs> no, because I, I, was, I was at that age where... Yeah. I, you know, I couldn't get another agent. He was still, you know, getting me cleats every year. I'm saying, if you want to make the big leagues, you better be ready to put in some work because you, have to. you ain't Shohei, you ain't Bryce Harper, you ain't Manny Machado. And that's okay because there's 99.9% nine, .9 of other baseball players are a lot closer to Drew Maggi than they are Shohei Otani. But you I mean, think this team makes the playoffs if Jacob DeGrom gives them 32 starts? I don't think he needs to give, give him 32 starts. I think if he makes between 25 and 28 starts and that rotation falls in line behind him, this is this 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 team is going to be playing meaningful games in September. Last time the Twins have beaten the Yankees in the season series, 2001, Chuck Knobloch came back to the Metrodome for the first time after being traded, playing the outfield. We had dollar a dog night. We had to stop the game. Tom Kelly had to get on the microphone and say, stop throwing hot damn hot dogs on the field. It was dollar dog night. And they threw like, I'm telling you, there was 10,000 hot dogs on the field at the same time. And then after the game, we beat them. They threw the, more hot dogs on the field. The game was over. We had to take extra batting practice because we didn't have a batting cage back then. So you took extra batting practice after the game on the field. And we had to shag in the hot dog. It's bottom one. Bottom one? Yeah. Yeah, don't even give a bottom bottom three. It's a bottom one. <laughs> I can't even see in there. It's a oh, it's straight basement. You cannot see in there. It's straight basement it, with old carpet. And the lights are like you can hear the lights buzz. 
<laughs> like for real. It's yeah. brutal. It's brutal, man. It is definitely like a, it's like playing baseball in a YMCA, like a big YMCA from <laughs> the 70s. Judge is a first class dude and uh, everything he does, man, it's with class. Has he bought you a suit? No, man, you know how it goes. I'm in arbitration. I pay for my stuff now. Oh, that's <laughs> terrible. That's He's sweet. got seven figures now. I think AJ knows this, that he said that they wanted around the clubhouse was a rusty nail. And that's come up a little bit more. Is like, where is the rusty nail? And Kratz, who's Homer in tonight? Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger is going to take the waka, the waka waka change up and hit it out of the yard. What happened to Belly? Oh, he, I, I think he's on paternity leave. He is. <laughs> That's why he's not listening. I, I like to think my uh, my golf game helps my baseball game. So uh, you know, whenever I'm out on the course, uh, you know, the next few days are uh, you know pretty good out in the field. So uh, I like to I like to think it's always golf is um, you know help me hit help me hit some homers. What I need from you, Q? What manager could you beat in a fight of the Tito. of the other twenty nine? Tito. Tito. <laughs> some guys, a some ton football of guys. players use it for ton of guys. Still, what? you're you saying for, for on field or for uh, on field. field? I'm talking on, on field. field. Oh, that's what I'm saying. There's a ton of guys. There's an NFL player recently who said that he used the... when it's cold, especially when it was cold. <laughs> yes. Guys would guys get, the, get blood the blood flow going. Blow. So when I asked you last year, you hadn't seen it yet. You're a busy dude, and I know you hung out with Lynn recently. You're shaking your head. Have you not seen it yet? <laughs> I have no, I, ha I haven't seen it, and, and you know what? I feel bad. I feel bad because I haven't <laughs> seen it, and everyone asked me, and he he even asked me if I was gonna go to um, you know, to go watch it because I think I believe it, it, it's here right now in in in, in um, Minnesota. I think it's until early May, and but I haven't seen it, and I totally feel I feel really bad. Big money involved, so hey. If I, if I DM you, you know, make sure you remember. Absolutely. Oh, I'll, I'll, be all, I'll, be that, I'll be looking for that for that slide. Oh yeah. <laughs> man, just said DM you. He don't even know what it means. Uh, it means I'm not going to shoot her a thing on Twitter and I'm she's going to answer back. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm careful to what I say because Max, you know, Max comes on and then two, his next time out, we have this problem. Um, <laughs> I was kind of listening to you guys. They're here. watching. Crazy ass week again on foul territory. Kratzy, what was your favorite moment? Besides the Viagra talks and AJ, <laughs> DM, and Lucy, like, we we got a whole lot going on. And me picking Bellinger that wasn't even in the game for the home run, <laughs> stay hot. Uh, good, good. Brock, what about you? Uh, I, I didn't have as much much experience this week as, as you guys. I'm, I'm, I only had one time, so I'm going back to Drew Maggi. Yes. He's, I mean, just... The story, it, it's just, it doesn't get any more cool than that. And, I mean, to have him on, to have to hear from him, I mean, you can't, you can't beat it. The full interview is a must listen or watch. You can watch it, of course, on our YouTube channel, or we have the podcast rolling. Just type Foul Territory into Apple or Spotify. Subscribe, and thank you so much for hanging out with us for Best of the Week here on Foul Territory. Foul Territory fans, listen up. Our friends at BetMGM are running an MLB Bet $10, get $100 instantly promo with the bonus code SPICYMLB. Here's how it works. Sign up and deposit at least $10 into your newly created account. Download the BetMGM Sportsbook app on iOS or Android. Place a pregame money line wager of at least $10 on any MLB team to win at standard odds price and you will receive $100 in bonus bets instantly. If you sign up in Massachusetts or Ohio, you receive $200 in bonus bets. Use the bonus code SPICYMLB.